الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد We mentioned yesterday that when a person forgets and they eat or drink that it does not uh, harm their fasting and this is from the prophetic guidance of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the mercy of the sharia and in the hadith of abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu it illustrates this and we will talk about some of the benefits the ulama mentioned about this hadith on abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the nabiy sallallahu alaihi wasallam qaal man nasiya wa huwa sa'im fa akala aw shariba falyutimmu sawmuhu fa inma at'amuhu allah wa saqahu rawahu bukhari wa muslim in this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the hadith of abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever forgets and he's fasting and he eats or he drinks then he should complete his fasting for verily allah fed him or gave him drink and that was collected that was collected in bukhari and muslim in this hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there's many benefits but first before we get to the benefits let's talk very briefly about some of the ikhtilaf ulama some of the things that the ulama say there are basically two statements regarding this regarding the ulama the scholars jamhur meaning majority of the ulama they say that the person who eats or drinks out of forgetfulness this does not harm their fasting but where they differ is and then they differ over the person who forgets and they have sexual relations with their wife or husband that's where they differed does that do they have to make it do they have to make a kafara or not meaning do they have to expiate or not so that's where the ulama differ and whether they're fa- whether it's uh you've said their fasting is broken or not so in that situation Imam Ahmed rahimahullah ta'ala and though and and his those who follow his madhhab they believe that the person who out of forgetfulness has sexual relations with his or her uh, a spouse that that breaks their fasting that's according to the madhhab of Imam Ahmed rahimahullah ta'ala and that if they were ignorant or they were forgetful then that they have to make kafara for that they have to expiate for that and that's what he takes from uh, and they use a hadith as evidence but we don't need to go deep into the differences here and the ikhtilaf but i just wanted to give us an idea that there is a goal regarding that the other aimma uh, Abu Hanifa rahimahullah ta'ala Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala wa Dawood meaning of uh, the Dhahiriyah rahimahullah ta'ala and Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah wa, and other than them they said that a person's fast is not invalidated if they do it if they eat or drink out of or have uh eat or drink or they have relations out of forgetfulness that it does not break their fast Ibn Hajar rahimahullah ta'ala he said and he mentioned they mentioned another hadith that was collected in Hakam the hadith of Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that the uh where he said man aftara fi ramadan nasiyan fala qada alayhi wala kafara Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said whoever breaks his fast in ramadan out of forgetfulness meaning they ate or drank out of forgetfulness or had jima then they they don't have to expiate nor do they have to make it up meaning it doesn't harm their fast 
Ibn Hajar said about this uh, about this narration. He said, and that and that's correct. Wahua Sahih. And he said, Well iftar am fi So he said that because that hadith is is general, because Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala, he said, Men iftara fi Ramadan nasian. He said, Whoever breaks his fast out of forgetfulness. So Ibn Hajar is saying that that hadith is general, meaning that, that since it's general, it includes sexual relations. So then he holds the view that sexual relations out of forgetfulness does not break your fast, and that you don't have to make kafara that there's no qada so that's one of the evidences for the jamhur the majority of the ulama hold this view so this is a surprising new benefit that I just gained here and they also have other evidences they use they use the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says qala Allah ta'ala rabbana la tu'akhidhna in nasina o akhta'na where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah O our lord which is a supplication we need to say, O oh, our Lord, do not hold us responsible if we forget or we make mistakes. And then in the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi where he said, Afiya li ummati an al khata'i wa nisyan wa ma istukrihu alayhi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, my, my nation has been pardoned for those things they do out of mis out of uh, forgetfulness and as a mistake or that they were forced to do so using these evidences the jamhur ulama majority of ulama say that even if a person has sexual relations out of forgetfulness that they do not it does not break their fast and they do not have to make kafara but Imam Ahmed, rahimahullah ta'ala, he held the opposite view, saying that no, that the person who does that uh, out of forgetfulness, that has sexual relations, that it does break their fast, and wajib that they have to make kafara. So it shows us just some of the some of the differences with the ulama, with the evidences, and some of the benefits that we can gain from that. Some of the benefits we gain from the hadith, and Allah knows best what is what is correct. Myself, I go with the madhab of Imam Ahmed on that, and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's best. But if, if someone did that even out of forgetfulness, they had sexual relations because it's so alim, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best what's correct, then I would say... If I were in a situation like that, then I would make kafara and consider my psalm broken. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Some of the benefits from this hadith is that it shows for us that the person who eats or drinks, and Imam uh, Ali Basam, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, or has sexual relations out of forgetfulness, their fasting is correct, is sound. So they have very strong evidence. The second benefit we gain from this hadith is that the person who does that, that they have no sins. If they ate or drank, because it wasn't out of choice. They didn't do it out of uh, intentionally and, and as a matter of choice. They did it out of forgetfulness, so there's no sin upon them. Another benefit of this hadith is that the meaning, it'amahu min Allah ta'ala wa saqihi, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them food and drink, drink, is that they did this without that the person who ate or drank they did it not out of choice out of not in, unintentionally so this is the way in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them that food and drink and it was in accordance with the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those are some of the benefits we gained from this hadith and I'm very glad that we had a chance to look at this hadith and go over this issue especially the issue of having sexual relations out of forgetfulness because this shows us that the majority of ulama they hold the view that a person who does it out of forgetfulness is not playing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen so it doesn't mean uh, baby you know and, and someone they have this relations with their, hus their husband or wife you know 
with some intention or they're playing around and stuff and then they say oh we forgot no this isn't it's not a joke so you should be very cautious with this but this is for the person who legitimately forgot they totally forgot they were fasting and then they had relations with their husband that the wife had a relation with her husband or the husband had a relationship with his wife and out of forgetfulness this is the person who uses this uh can have this excuse in accordance with the a statement of the Jamhur ulama and as we mentioned the statement of Imam Muhammad his his view was that the person has broken their fast and that they have to make kafara uh, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam